Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. This is going to be a pick a card reading or I guess a pick a deck reading. You can pick group one, two, or three, or you can pick based on the ruin stone. And basically going to be looking at the energies of what is going to happen for the rest of 2021. So if you need time, go ahead and pause the video. Also keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take all the messages that resonate, leave the messages behind that don't resonate they're probably for someone else if you would like to schedule a personal reading with me all of my contact information below if you would like to join the tribe join the patreon the link is below as well so let's go ahead and get started with your reading welcome group number one so starting off with your rune stone you have success so looking at the energy for the rest of 2021 spirit is saying that you're going to have some success some blessings come into your life so I'm going to get you guys a Moonology card. Spirit, what message is for group number one? Wow, look at this. Prosperity lies ahead. I love it. So you definitely have, uh, Spirit is saying you have some coins coming in here for the rest of 2021. We're in November. We just have the rest of November and December left. So Spirit, what messages for group number one? What is coming in for the rest of 2021? All right, messages are jumping out. So we are starting out with the Nine of Wands. The Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Hangman. Spirit, any additional messages? The Emperor. And the World. Okay. So you guys are going to be reaching some type of cycle completion. So let me just get all organized. Alrighty. Okay, so for the rest of 2021, we are starting off with the devil energy for the overall energy. So sometimes with the devil energy, this could speak about, you know, some type of obligation, some type of debt, <laughs> bills, um, something that is holding us down. For some of us, it could be something from the past, a way of thinking. Um, it could be a person from the past as well. But there's something that needs to be released with this energy here. Spirit is saying maybe it's all in your mindset. Maybe it's about what you're attracting into your life. Spirit is saying you are a spiritual being. You're very powerful. You have all of the tools necessary to attract whatever you need into your life, whether it's finances, whether it's love, whatever it is you can set your intentions to attract that into your life so you can grow and you can expand with the three of pentacles here you may come to a certain point with a crossroads with the two of swords here spirit is saying be a little patient with yourself when it comes to this decision really use your intuition but you're going to make the right decision here with the nine of cups you're going to feel satisfied you're going to feel um, almost like a wish being granted when you do make that choice so spirit is saying trust in yourself because you are moving towards success uh, for the rest of 2021 so at the bottom of the deck you have the wheel of fortune this is about divine timing this is about your luck turning so there's some divine timing in here at play and whenever i see divine timing it's all about spirit time not your time but i do feel like you're going to see that shift in divine timing with the wheel of fortune um, between now and the end of 2021. so starting off we have the nine of wands you know, for some of you, you could feel tired, you could feel exhausted here with this energy, but you're not giving up, you're being persistent. 
you know, with the seven of wands here, you're really standing your ground. You're knowing your worth, right? Don't allow anybody to um, tell you what your worth is. You know, you decide what your worth is. If you run into any type of obstacles or any bumps in the road, you are going to be on the higher side of these wands here. So Spirit is saying you can be proactive and not reactive. Next, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is about some type of painful cycle or uncomfortable cycle that is coming to an end. You are wrapping it up. Spirit, can you clarify the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the death card, transitions and endings. So, you know, right now you may be going through some type of transition, but soon enough, Spirit is saying you're going to be wrapping that up and it is going to be ending and you can move into some type of fresh new energy. Next, you have the hangman here. This is a very spiritual card. This is really about going within, meditating, connecting with your higher self. This is also like a waiting energy. You may be waiting on that new beginning. You may be waiting um, on those blessings or abundance to come in and spirit is saying that it's coming you are near a completion so just a little bit of patience you're almost there with the emperor here spirit is saying that you're gonna start to feel like you're more in control of your life and less um, under restriction as you move forward through 2021 Page of Swords, you're going to receive some messages in here. And with these messages, make sure you understand the terms and the condition. Make sure you really investigate the messages. But I feel like it's going to bring in something new, something fresh, something that you've been waiting for. And I think it has something to do with prosperity. And then you have the World card. This is about you wrapping something up, completing some type of cycle, and not only just completing it, completing it successfully. Spirit, can you clarify the world card, please? And you have the Ace of Wands. Very beautiful. So you guys are going to be wrapping something up. It's going to be some type of cycle completion, an ending, and a beginning. Um, Spirit just said you're not even going to miss a paycheck. For some of you, you know, you may be putting in your two weeks notice and starting that new beginning. This is a new job, a promotion, a new relationship, something that is new and exciting. And, and I feel like it may have some type of creativity to it. Way to end off uh, 2021, guys. Spirit, what additional messages for group number one? You have Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Back to that uh, magician energy. Remember, thoughts create things. Your thoughts and how you feel are very, very important. So work on this area of lack. Maybe use some type of positive affirmation if you're, lo you're lacking in love, money, or your goals. Really um, hit those subconscious thoughts. You know, really uh, release any type of beliefs that no longer serve you anymore. You have fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair may be significant to your situation. Table, hard work ahead. So some of you may be putting in some work for the end of 2021. Whoops. <laughs> You have pen, new job, new career. We have the Ace of Wands right here. I'm telling you, some of you guys are waiting for it. I feel like whatever you're waiting for, you're attracting it into your life. I feel like the universe is just kind of wrapping things up. You feel it, you see it. Um, you feel the energy of this new beginning coming in. So Spirit is saying it is coming and then bam, it comes in for you guys. Spirit, what additional messages? And you have bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. So that's that energy right here. For some of you, you may be waiting for that offer letter, waiting for the next step of employment. And Spirit is saying it is going to come in. Do not worry. Because you guys are moving towards this prosperity and moving towards the success. 
what is meant for you is meant for you very nice four leaf clover great good fortune guys so please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating also don't forget to like share and subscribe i truly appreciate it wishing you guys love and abundance and until next time welcome group number two let's go ahead and see what messages spirit has for you for the rest of 2021 starting off with your ruin stone you have fertility so you know for some of you i'm getting baby making vibes this will be a very good fertile time to make babies for others of you um, fertility represents abundance it represents prosperity so some of you could be getting some extra coins in your pocket you have prosperity ahead that is so crazy because group number one got the same card and i promise i shuffled off off camera and i just shuffled right now so uh spirit is saying the prosperity is coming in i love it spirit what messages for group number two for the rest of 2021 Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Sun. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The tower. Okay, and temperance here. All right, spirit just said full steam ahead. Overall energy is the eight of wands. So this is about messages coming in, back and forth, back and forth. This is also about the energy moving forward. You guys are going to be moving forward into something new, into something fresh. You know, spirit is saying really take the leap of faith. You have the seven of cups here this does speak about some of you could have multiple options as far as this new opportunity this could be a little bit of confusion um i'm seeing like you know for some of you you could be looking too far off into the future what if this doesn't work what if that doesn't work you know spirit is saying really try to stay present in that energy the will of fortune this is about your luck turning this is about divine timing spirit is saying they understand that you know maybe everything didn't work out in the past the way that you expected it to with the five of cups here but you have two full cups two blessings behind you so if you're looking at the past because i feel like the past has some type of energy of conflict either internally with yourself or externally with a group of people or another person if you're looking at the past look at the lessons look at what you can learn don't stay in this energy for too long because then it kind of just puts you in a loop because you have some type of new beautiful beginning right here with the ace of cups some type of emotional fulfillment it could be a new relationship a new love but it could be some type of new beginning in regards to your fulfillment in regards to your happiness very nice so starting off, you have the two of pentacles. Some of you could be juggling your time, your resources, your energy. This also is an energy about having to make a choice. If you do have to make a choice, spirit is saying, regardless of what choice that you make, you're going to be moving into the sun. This is joy, happiness, vitality. If any of you are dealing with any type of health issues, you could see an improvement um, during this time as well. You have the knight of pentacles. So this is the slowest night of the deck however he or she is the most successful night of the deck this is about you moving forward with your plan something very solid next you have the five of wands here this could speak about some type of competition it could speak about some type of conflict you know it could be gossip um it could be you know people talking behind your back but it's really just like a very petty energy Spirit, can you clarify the Five of Wands? The Five of Wands and the Five of Wands. So <laughs> for some of you, I feel like I get this energy of like this conflict or whatever these negative people are, they could be linked to the past for some reason. You have the Queen of Swords here. So I feel like Spirit is saying you're really going to be cutting through the BS, honestly. I feel like you're really going to be taking your emotions out of the situation. Like, I don't know. I feel like you're going to have this energy of like, look, I'm the adult. I'm mature. I'm not playing these games. Um, I just feel like you're just not going to be playing these games. I don't know why, but you're going to cut something out. You're going to make a decision here with the Queen of Swords. Now you have the Nine of Swords. So this 
is your energy you could feel stressed you could feel overwhelmed about something in your life maybe about some type of messages coming in maybe you're waiting for that new job maybe you're waiting for that new love you're waiting for this news to come in and you're worried and stressed like oh my gosh why is it not coming in spirit is saying stick to the plan you know he is a little slow she is a little slow but he or she is going to get to their destination so know that those messages are going to come in and then boom look at that lightning strikes you have the tower so some type of sudden change i feel like it may be messages here with the uh, eight of pentacles uh the eight of wands showing up here spirit can you clarify the tower And you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning. This is something that's on solid footing. It has a good foundation coming into your life. I feel like this is going to be something very unexpected that comes in at the end of 2021. It's really going to restore balance into your life. It's going to restore balance into your household, right? So this is very, very beautiful energy. Spirit, what additional messages? Oops, you have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. I feel like it's going to be surrounding you uh, during this time. Romance, celebration, party. Very nice. You have desk. Pay attention to your work. I feel like with this energy too, it's like pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to your energy. Like don't don't be worried about um, don't be worried about the bats. Okay. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Don't. Don't even worry about them. Spirit is going to protect you. I just feel like I see like in my mind's eye, I see like a fly and it's like making the annoying buzzing noise. I feel like this is what this energy or what this person or people are trying to do. But I mean, flies are harmless, right? You know, they just might annoy you and buzz in your ear. What did I say? Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Spirit is saying you are protected at this time. No one can take an opportunity away from you that is meant for you. Position of authority with Thorn here. So you guys may get a, get a promotion. You may become in a position of power. So very beautiful reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time. Welcome group number three. So for your rune stone, you have love. I love it. So there may be some love. You might be surrounded by love for the um, rest of 2021. So let's see what message of spirit has for you guys. Oh, look at that. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So this is about self-care, self-love really valuing yourself i feel like spirit is saying you are lovable um you are enough so for some of you if you're dealing with some type of um issues of confidence or self-love you know maybe some affirmations will be um, very helpful during this time spirit what messages So we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Four of Cups, we have the King of Cups, we have the Death Card, we have two pop out here. Okay. Spirit, what additional messages? And I don't take reversals. Okay, and your overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, this is like the ultimate um, wish card when it comes to finances. It could be some type of settlement, um, some type of unexpected blessings, financial gain coming into your life. This could also be about your self-worth as well. 
I feel like there's going to be this energy of fairness that comes in um, and balance as well. For some of you, if you're dealing with any type of legal cases, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. It's going to work out better than you thought it was going to work out. You have the Tower card, some type of sudden unexpected change. You have the Nine of Swords. So there's some type of, you know, whatever the sudden change was, it, it might cause you to feel a little bit stressed, a little bit of worry or doubt here. You know, but Spirit is saying that it's all working out for your highest good because this was not on solid foundation and you're going to be moving into this energy of success and recognition here. So keep your faith, keep, keep faith in the universe that everything is going to work out for your highest good because you are moving into this energy of success. So you're starting off with the eight of wands here. This is about messages coming in back and forth, back and forth. This is also about the energy picking up movement forward, moving you into this energy of the four of cups. So you could receive some type of offer um, that's really unexpected. It's not coming from the person that you was thinking it was going to come from. It could be a love interest. It could be a, a opportunity for business or work. But with this uh, card, this is my potential missed opportunity card. So make sure you keep your head up, keep your eyes open because, um, you know, the the universe is going to bring in some type of offer. And if you if you're not paying attention, then you might miss it. So with the four of cups, you have the queen of wands. Yes, stay focused, stay determined, stay grounded because this offer that's coming in, you know, it could be from this king of cups right here. This king of cups is someone that is very credible. You can rely on this person, um, someone very compassionate. So if this, this is a love offer, they're very genuine, they're very compassionate. And if it is work, it is a, is a very genuine offer coming in. I feel like this person is going to allow you to have this feeling of wanting to like plan and look at your futures. Some of you, you may want to travel. For some of you, I feel like this King of Cups may be like a love energy as well, but really look at the future and you have the world in your hands. You have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person is going to bring this energy of out of you of feeling good, feeling satisfied, um, very beautiful energy. We have the death card here. This is about change, transformation. I feel like you're going to move into this energy right here of the judgment card. This is about being rebirthed. This is about being renewed. So, you know, sometimes going through certain uh, transformation or changes is not a comfortable or easy um, energy. But Spirit is saying with the Wheel of Fortune here, your luck is going to turn. You know, you're going to have good luck on your side. You have the moon card here, so there's still some type of uncertainty. Um, there's still some type of fogginess. Um, so really pay attention to your dreams. Really tap into your intuition if you feel any type of uncertainty, if you feel unclear about anything. Because you have a ten of wands here. So this is about, you know, you are reaching some type of completion here. And after the completion, you're going to have a new beginning. With this card here, this is about you holding on to some type of burden and it is making you tired, it's making your back hurt. Ten of Wands is about releasing the burden. Let the burden go to move forward to your new beginning. There it is right there, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, a solid new beginning, something financial or valuable in nature and you have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So some in this energy right here with the Moon card, if you feel like when is this new opportunity going to come in? When is this new love going to come in? It's going to come in uh, near the end. And it's going to be something that is very, uh, very solid, very long lasting. You have V, victory in some endeavor. Yeah, so you guys are definitely moving towards victory. You have four leaf clover, great good fortune. So some good fortune is going to be coming into your life as well. You have hills, obstacles to overcome. Any obstacles to overcome, if you feel um, overwhelmed or if you just feel like it's too much, that's your that's your cue to meditate. Go within, spend time in nature because spirit is going to provide you with the answers. Scales, keep your life in balance. I feel like moderation is going to be very important during this time as well. 
you have careers so some of you may be focused on your career or possibly getting another job and you have wishbone a wish being granted guys very nice spirit any additional messages And you have bridge, I love it, successfully overcoming a problem. So obstacles to overcome, successfully overcoming a problem. So guys, please comment below, let me know how these messages are resonating. Please like, share, and subscribe, I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance, and until next time.